Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? It's a Ferlici Friday. I'm Amy Ferlici. And what do I want to say first? But go blue. Oh my gosh, we had such a great, like crazy, like nerve wracking game on New Year's Day evening. Uh, super excited though. We've got one more game to go on Monday night for the national championship. I hope we can do it. I keep saying it's our turn. It's our turn. It's funny because I watch so much kind of like pregame chatter about Michigan, Alabama. That's who they played on New Year's Day. If you're not familiar with the whole football thing happening right now. Uh, anyway, um, and so I really got to kind of learn more about the Alabama team and Nick Saban. And I've always kind of thought, I don't really like him. Hi, Trish. How are you? Um, probably because I, you know, I'm envious of the fact that they've had such a great program. And I kind of got a better idea of why. They, um, but I will say that, I mean, I just thought like they've had so many great years of so many wins. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome, welcome. Um, but I just kept saying, it's our turn. It's our turn. Please let it be our turn. So it's our turn to go to the national championship. So yes, I'm completely digressing because we have so many great things happening here at Stampin' Up! this week. Also, like celebration has begun, you guys. Oh my gosh. Finally, I can open up this little brochure and show you the inside of it, which I am going to do when we flip the camera down. In case you don't know what you can get for free right now from Stampin' Up! during celebration. So now through the end of February, February 29th, it's a leap year or two, you can pick a free item out of this brochure with either a $50 or $100 purchase. So for example, if you made a $100 product purchase, you could pick two $50 items out of here. Or if there's a $100 item that you'd like, you can get that one. If you uh, put in a $150 order, you can get three $50 items or maybe a $100 item and a $50 item for free. So lots of good stuff in here. I'm going to show you more about that in just a little bit. And then also the new spring mini catalog is live as well. So excited. Look at how cute this suite is. And Miss Trish just posted a card right here on our Facebook group um, this week that featured this bundle. And she said, I, I think she said something like she wasn't so sure, you know, what she was going to think of it, if she was going to like it or not. And now she totally loves it after playing with it. So just fun, 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 bright, um, beautiful things in our new mini catalog. So yes, I can flip through here. You guys can, uh, well, I don't know, get a little sneak peek of what's inside here. But if you do not have these catalogs and you would like them, please let me know. I would be happy to get them sent out to you. Hi, Miss Erica. Welcome, welcome. So yes, yeah, so much good stuff there. And then what are we playing with today? You guys, I've got some fun stuff planned for you. This is the Heartfelt Hellos stamp set. So this is one of those items you can get for free out of this little brochure during celebration with your $50 order. So sentiments include, uh, Dad, you're the best. Love you more. I think that's such a cute sentiment. Enjoy your day. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. We can always use these, right? The Mother's Day kind of that's the dad, you're the best to be great for Father's Day also. And then thinking of you this Easter. So we've got just some really nice sentiments there in that stamp set. Again, you can get this for free with your $50 order now through the end of February. Um, at some point, I think they're going to say while well, supplies last. So if you love the stamp set, get it now so you don't have to worry about whether you can get it at the end of the celebration season or not, right? Then I actually paired that Heartfelt Hellos stamp set with the lighter than air designer series paper do I have yep I've got all six of them so I this is my favorite paper right now and it's funny because they're um like a little bit more muted pastel tones which I'm not always totally drawn to like I think I like the brights the best like those fun bright colors but these I think they kind of are bright too right even though they're some of our more subtle colors they just such cute patterns in that pack of paper so here is the one side and then there is the other side. So lots of fresh freesia, which I love that color. We've got some balmy blue. Um, I think that's petal pink. We've got some fun stripes and then the balloons, so cute. And can you guys see that some of the balloons are even in the shape of a heart, which I think is so sweet also. Makes me wonder now the punch that we have. Now I'm curious if, Mm, nope, it's not going to. I was going to say, I couldn't remember the size of the punch, but this little punch from the, I'm trying to not get the glare here, um, from that Be Mine suite. Okay, so that heart you can see is a little bit too small to punch out that heart, say, on that paper right there, but you could always fussy cut it too. I just think this is such cute paper, and I can't wait to show you guys 
the projects that we are going to make with this in just a little while. So we're going to have lots and lots of fun with that. In the meantime, what else do I want to tell you guys about? Oh, celebration kickoff event. So if you have not gotten your catalogs and you're local, come to the celebration kickoff event. It is a week from tomorrow. So Saturday, what is this? January. What, what month are we in? <laughs> January 13th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We're going to be doing a fun kickoff featuring product from our celebration brochure and our spring mini catalog. Um, so love to have you join us. We're going to make four cute cards. If you put an order in, you get your cards for free. If you put a $50 order in, you can pick a free celebration item. Going to have um, swaps. So I made my swaps, got them shipped out, know that they're received in time. Hopefully I have my swap back by next, I think I should, by next Friday. I'd love to actually use some of those ideas um, for projects that we might make. If not, I'm going to come up with my own, but I will definitely have them out to show you guys at the celebration event next Saturday. Again, that is January 13th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. right here local in Alma, Michigan. If you're not local, though, I will make sure to share those swaps with you on our Facebook Live videos over the next couple of weeks as well. Um, and then also bingo. I wanted to make sure you guys knew that we're going to have another bingo night. Stampin' and bingo, stampin' bingo. Again, here local, right here in Alma. That event is on Thursday, February 22nd from 6, starts at 6 p.m. Again, at the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma. So if you're interested, I've been emailing and posting on our Facebook group about those things. Um, but if you need any more info, I'd be happy to get that sent out to you. And if you'd like to sign up, please let me know. You can even comment right here. I try to watch all the comments on Facebook Live as well as any of my posts. So I try to keep updated on everything for you guys. So feel free to comment right on here and let me know if you're interested in any of those things. All right. I'd love to have you join me for, again, Celebration Kickoff event Saturday, January 13th, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. or bingo night on Thursday, February 22nd at 6 p.m. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So another fun thing, don't forget designer series paper shares are going on now. If you already signed up for a paper share, I put my first order in yesterday. That was the first day we could order for celebration, uh, getting those celebration benefits like kind of a bigger order. We were really limited for the month of December, but now doors are wide open. We can order whatever we want, as much as we want, as long as it's available. So that's my one caveat is I know I've got enough <clears throat> for the paper shares that I already have ordered for. And hopefully nothing goes like unorderable so that we can continue to um, get those things for you if you're interested in the paper share. So again, it's 13 packs of paper. We have eight packs in the spring mini catalog and we have five more packs in the celebration brochure. So you're gonna get all 13 packs of designer series paper, a quarter of a pack of each of them in the paper share. And it's just $43. It is such a great deal. Hi, Charlene. Welcome, welcome. And happy new year to everybody too. I didn't say that already, did I? I'm so focused on my maize and blue and what's happening with them. I forget to even say happy new year. So yes, very exciting. Um, really just excited about the new year, kind of a fresh start. I was working out this morning and already like going through my mind of all the things that I want to get accomplished this weekend, actually. Like I'm not even talking like long-term goals. I'm like, this house is kind of a disaster and I want to get it cleaned up. I'm planning to go through my closets and my drawers and like fresh start. It's a great time to do that too, right? So what are your goals? What are you guys up to? What are you thinking about making sure you take care of in the next few days or weeks or months? Let me know. I'd love to hear about that as well. So make your comments, please. I love to hear from you guys um, anytime right here on Facebook Live or any of the other posts that I make. I love to hear from you guys. So make sure you do that. Comment whenever you can. Don't be that silent, right? Silent Facebook lurker. <laughs> I mean, I know I don't mind those either. I love for you guys to see what's going on, but I love to hear from you too. So again, just make sure you post and share what you're doing, what you're up to. Okay, that helps us feel connected too, especially I think as we kind of roll into winter, I'm still, I don't know, I got to knock on like lots of wood here, right? That we haven't had more snow. Um, I think there is something coming, but I feel like we have had a really mild winter so far. But, you know, generally you're inside more in winter, maybe feel a little bit um, like not as connected to people. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. Um, so I think this Facebook group is a great, great way to kind of stay connected with people, even if maybe you're not getting out and about as much as you normally would in the spring and summer and fall time, right? So love to help create that sense of community right here on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio 
Studio Facebook group. So post and share and comment and help get that interaction going because I think that makes everybody feel good too. So, and that's my plan for this year is to help everybody feel good as much as you possibly can. Find those happy moments, the joy in the little things, right? Um, yeah, so share with me too what, what brings you joy and helps keep helps you know keep a smile on your face, right? Maybe that might help somebody else as well. Um, okay, so let's see. I think let me make sure I always have to check my notes, you guys. I you know the older you get, the like less you remember things, right? So I'm like I have to write everything down and then do my little double check. The other thing that I want to mention, and I think I said this on our last Facebook Live, but we are going into our seventh year of Facebook Live videos. I started back it was like mid December 2017, so mid December 2023 marked our six year anniversary of Facebook Lives. So we are rolling right into our seventh year of Facebook Live. So I'm very excited about that. I've got some kind of ideas for maybe changing things up a little bit. Um, keeping it still pretty consistent though, because I think I love to kind of share what's going on here locally, what's going on with Stampin' Up, and then share cute projects too. So, but I think my main goal is to just help you guys interact and share and communicate and again, create that sense of community and friendship right here within our Facebook group. So love for you to participate and help in that endeavor as well. Um, okay, I think we are ready. We are gonna do our first drawing for, these are the adhesive backed lightning and stars. So cute, right? So fun little kind of epoxy. There's, I'm gonna say crushed curry, coastal cabana, and then there are white ones, same shapes, but they're underneath the little label right there. So this is what we are going to give away. And I actually changed it up a tiny bit, right? So if you shared the Facebook Live video, one entry in here, if you shared the Facebook Live video to a crafting group you're a part of, five entries in my little basket. If you signed up for my email list, you get an entry in here as well. And then I actually picked one random post um, I'm, I'm gonna do that each week now too. Either if you post something right here to our Facebook group, your name could possibly go in here and I'm gonna kind of just decide, right? It's gonna be random. Or I'm gonna pull comments from another post and put your name in here. So lots and lots of ways to get your name entered into the drawing to win. These are the adhesive backed lightning and stars this week, okay? So again, comment on any of the posts that we make right here in our Facebook group. That may be the random post I pick and your name may end up in here for your comment or if you share a project with us your name will go in the basket right here too so okay we're gonna shake these around and see who our lucky winner is for these adhesive back lightning and stars okay make sure I just have one in my hand and it goes to ha ah, miss Trish Hall who I think is actually watching right now so congratulations Trish you are the winner of the new lightning um, and stars the adhesive back lightning and stars so congratulations miss Trish I will get these sent out to you. Okay, I gotta get rid of those and then put these in here for the next drawing. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, again, share this video right here to your profile or five entries if you share it to a paper crafting group that you're a part of. If you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, you get one entry for doing that, for signing up for my email list. And then, like I said, I'm gonna pick a random day each before each Facebook Live and um, the comments on that Facebook Live post are gonna go in that drawing. And then if you share a project with us right here on our Facebook group, your name's also gonna go in that drawing. So I'm just trying to create lots of sharing and community. Again, your name will go in the drawing to win. These are the super cute, I'm like squinting. These are the rainbow adhesive backed dots. So you can see, I actually used a couple of them. We're gonna use these on one of our projects today, but you can see kind of that whole rainbow of colors they, of course, really coordinate nicely with our Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper. You can see that, and those are featured together in our catalog also. But, ha, ah, good. Okay, yeah, you haven't ordered those yet. Awesome. Well, good. I'm glad that you will enjoy those and not have duplicates, right, which is always fun. So, again, next Facebook Live, this is what we're going to give away, these adhesive-backed rainbow dots such a cute and i promise i won't use any of yours i'll send you a full pack okay <laughs> i have them on order i just don't have them yet but i wanted to make sure that i had them here so i could show you guys those so okay let's see um okay i wanted to make sure you guys all know and congratulate miss carla dilly she's our first new inspired stamper she took advantage of the awesome starter kit deal during celebration which is, okay, so let's see, I think they 
Can you kind of see that you can get the new Stampin' Glass Matte Studio? If you did not watch last Friday's Facebook Live, I actually kind of showed you that, um, and I'm gonna use it again today to make our projects in just a little bit when we flip the camera down, um, but I kind of showed you kind of some cool features of the Stampin' Glass Matte Studio, um, the silicone, where is that? The little white thing right here that kind of shows. It's like a little work, another little caddy almost, it's, but it's silicone, so it's kind of rubbery, flippy-dippy, I want to say, but it, it, it kind of um, adheres to the glass. So you can put your ink pad right in there and it doesn't move around while you're stamping. There's also a cleaning cloth, so you can clean your glass off. You can probably even clean your stamps with it too, because it's like a thin, um, uh, what do I want to say, the purple, What's that called? The chamois. <laughs> the chamois. <laughs> yes, right. I'm like totally drawing a blank, right? The Simply Chamois, I think it is. Um, yeah, but it's like a thin one of those, basically, the cloth that comes with this. So my point is you can get this whole Stampin' Glass Matte Studio plus $125 in product, which is what Miss Carla Dilly did yesterday, the very first day of celebration, and she paid only $99 plus sales tax. Shipping is included, so you don't have to pay for that. If you do not need the Stampin' Glass Matte Studio, you can pick $155 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. Again, the shipping is included, so there's no cost for shipping on this one as well. Um, so yeah, awesome, awesome deal. That is going on. I, there's info right here in the little celebration brochure. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, going on now through the end of February. So if you're interested in getting that starter kit deal, the other awesome thing is you get 20% off of all future orders after you buy the starter kit. <coughs> Ooh, this start, starts to happen and then I get like all, <coughs> okay, one moment. And I have my mints handy too, just in case I need them. All right, mm. grab, a, grab a quick sip of water. <coughs> See if that will help. Mm. If not, I will grab my mint. That makes me hot too. I get like all flustered when I start like feeling like I'm gonna be coughing on you guys, which fortunately I'm not really coughing on you guys cause you're not even here with me, but okay. Yeah, so it's just cause I'm so excited about this awesome starter kit deal. And like I said, welcoming new stampers, new ink inspired stampers into our team, into our group, into our family. Would love to have you be a part of that as well. Bonnie and Trish who are watching right now are a part of our group, which I think, and they're long distance too. So they're not even near us in Michigan, right? Trish, I think is down in Tennessee and Bonnie is out in North Dakota. So long ways away, but I think they feel connected and you guys can maybe comment on that too, um, to our group, just because you're a part of it and you can kind of interact and share and get to know each other um, even if you're long distance. That's the beauty of social media, right? Um, so again, love to have you buy that starter kit, become a part of our team. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're struggling with technology, I'm happy to help put you that, help you put that starter kit order in for you. And then don't forget, you get a 20% discount off of all future orders after you buy the starter kit. <clears throat> also, if you were a demonstrator before and your demo ID dropped, you can get the starter kit again anytime. There's no waiting period. Um, so if that happened to you and you want to get the starter kit again, you can do that anytime as well. All right. Um, okay, so I think, yeah, we are ready to do our next drawing, right? <laughs> awesome. That's so cute, Bonnie. She says, yes, I feel very connected. I love that. I love, 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 love that. That's fun to hear. So um, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, okay, so I think, yeah, I keep like looking around, right? Um, yeah, let's do our next drawing. Okay, so what are we going to draw for? This is the Year to Celebrate stamp set. Um, so we've got the fun, the happy new year, and you've got the congrats and then happy birthday to you. And then all the fun, like party favors too, which I have to say, we broke these out for a little new year's party that we had. We had little party horns and the hats and the tiaras and everything said happy new year. And it was lots of fun. Great way to ring in the new year, um, with these fun, like little party elements, right? So your name is in the drawing right now. If you put an online order in through me. <laughs> Thank you, Trish. That's awesome. It's so much fun here. You guys are very sweet. Okay, so your name is in the drawing. If you put an order in through me, you are going to get your chance to win the Year to Celebrate stamp set. You also automatically receive both of these super duper cute cards that I demonstrated on our last video.
Facebook Live featuring that Be Mine Sweet collection. And then you get to pick from the free embellishment, which are, these are the Purple Fine Shimmer. Right now I'm trying to read that, yes. The Purple Fine Shimmer Gems or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial, which this month is featuring this super cute Valentine's Day card. So you can learn how to make that in the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial, okay? All right, so one lucky winner is going to get the Year to Celebrate stamp set. What fell? Oh yeah, those are those dots that, okay. Do you hear my body creaking as I lean over to pick those things up? <laughs> it's like <laughs> creaking and cracking, right? Okay, so yep, names are in here. So, okay, lucky winner of, yes, the Year to Celebrate stamp set is, let's see, who do we have here? Miss Linda Danis. All right, congratulations, Linda. You are the winner of the Year to Celebrate stamp set, so I will get that sent out to you. <clears throat> Scoot that out of the way. Scoot that out of the way. And, okay, so on our, I think I had it open, yes. So two weeks from today is going to be our next Facebook Live, all right? We are going to give away the Painted Lavender stamp set. So I can show you in the catalog. I have it on order. I don't have it yet, but I want to show you guys this beautiful Painted Lavender stamp set is what we will give away if you put an online order through me using the host code. It's on my blog. I'll give it to you in just a little bit too when we flip the camera down also. But your name will go in the drawing to win that Painted Lavender. Can you guys see that? The Painted Lavender stamp set. There's an awesome set of dies. It's part of a whole suite that also includes those postage, um, I think, what are those called? Yes, the perennial postage dies and stamp set. And here, I'll kind of flip back here because you guys can see. Actually, I'm flipping the wrong way. This is all part of the perennial lavender suite. You can see that there. And then a bunch of beautiful projects made with that perennial lavender suite. So again, it's the per, uh, painted lavender stamp set is what we will draw for. And that's two weeks from today on our next Facebook Live, which puts us at Friday, January 19th. Oh my gosh, that'll be crazy. January 19th already. Not wishing the whole month away. Although January and February and March can go faster than the other months, right? Because it's winter and, you know, it's kind of dreary and ugly. So we can just like fly through those months, right? Um, okay, so I think, let's see, we are going to flip the camera down trying to make sure yeah we're going to talk about that we're going to do so we talked about all of that stuff yeah okay i just got to clean my table off here so you guys don't see <laughs> the chaos that was on this table okay yeah <clears throat> i think we're good i think we're good okay so turn your heads away we are flying through the air i'm gonna flip our camera down Hopefully that's good. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, so can you guys see? I wanna try to make sure so. Yeah, that you guys can see everything. I think we're pretty good, right? So again, we're gonna play with the Heartfelt Hello stamp set and the Lighter Than Air. I wanna show you guys this so it won't be backwards this time. And I did show it last week too. I think I showed you guys all of the paper and the paper. Hello, Miss Sheila. How are you doing down in Florida? Oh my gosh, probably like much prettier down there than it is up here in dreary Michigan right now. <laughs> Ah, okay, but so, but so, right, it's dreary, but who cares? Because look at, we've got all these fun things to play with, like this lighter than air designer series paper, and there's the back side of those. So cute, huh? <laughs> You're so fun, Sheila. All your exclamation points, thank you. Okay, so, but I did want to, before we jump into stamping, let's take a peek at the celebration brochure. So these are all the things that you can shop for. When you spend $50, you can pick a free item out of the celebration brochure. So for example, I'm gonna kind of pop right in here. We have this watercolor melon stamp set and you can see again, free with a $50 purchase. So that's product, $50 in product. Then when you order online or through me, you get potentially the watermelon, excuse me, watercolor melon stamp set. That's a cute one, huh? Right, I haven't looked at, I kind of have flipped right past that one, but as I'm looking at it now with you guys, I'm like, oh, that's pretty darn cute. And then there's the Sunny Days Designer Series Paper. That's another, and they always put this little, so free with a $50 order, and they've got some cute projects there. 
Then we have the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. We have five packs of free paper, but again, you can get it a quarter of a pack in the paper share. Only $43 for a quarter of a pack of all 13 packs of paper. If you're interested, please let me know. I've already put the first order in, but I can always order. Once I get a group of four, I put another order in. Uh, okay, so again, Flight and Airy DSP, you can get this for free also with a $50 order. Then look at this super cute. This is the Cradled in Love stamp set. Such an adorable little stamp set. And then some cute projects right there, right? Then what do we have? This is the Softly Stippled Designer Series paper. This paper is gorgeous. I use this on my swaps that I made. And then we also have, this paper is beautiful too. So it's the most adored. And I would call this a specialty paper because it's got kind of a, if you guys can see, right? It's gold foil and white on one side. And then I'm going to say, does it say, it tells me, yes, flirty flamingo and real red on the other side. So that's the paper that I used on my demo design dream team project to make cute Valentine projects too. So you've got some gold and white or some basically red and pink. You choose kind of front or back, whatever you need uh, need it for, right? So then here's the Heartfelt Hello stamp set. That's the one that we're going to be using today. So you can see all the fun sentiments and they show that it coordinates perfectly with this Heartfelt Hexagon Punch right there. So you can see how it kind of pops right in there. Also, we have the Trusty Toolbox Designer Series paper that of cart, and then they did a great job of this too. They coordinated with the Trusty Tools bundle. So there's a bundle in the mini catalog that you can get. So stamps and dies that coordinate with this designer series paper. So for example, you could buy the bundle, the stamps and the dies, and get the paper for free with your order. Such a great idea. I love how they did that. These are super cute. And I know Anna was um, mentioning last week that I think she has a sister-in-law that loves sloths, maybe, <laughs> which is kind of a funny thing to love, right? Although they're pretty cute in this stamp set, I would say, but she is super excited to play with this stamp set. And then on the next page, so we've got the Jungle Pals stamp set right there. Those are super cute, right? And then you've got the dies, the Jungle Pals dies. Now these are free with a $100 order. And then these are free with a $50 order. So you could go put a Mac Daddy or $150 order in and get the Jungle Pal stamp set and the dies for free. Plus you also would get host benefits too, free product because you had at least $150 order. Ah, uh, beautiful. This is a beautiful bundle that you get also for free with a $100 order. It's the Softly Sophisticated Stamp Set with some sentiments. We've got hello there. You're in my thoughts. I really appreciate you. And then this beautiful embossing folder. I think they're calling it the Softly Sophisticated Embossing Folder. So there's the stamp set and the embossing folder. Again, free with a $100 order. Some beautiful projects they've made with it. And then also the detailed dogwood stamp set, free with a $100 order. And I think they're saying that it coordinates, yes, with this Petal Park Builder Punch. I'm going to have to check that out. I can see probably that stamp right there is going to fit in maybe, right? Does that stamp right there look like it fits in maybe with that flower right there? So I'm thinking I haven't checked that out yet either. Lots to check out. Here is that join offer again. $125 in product plus the Stampin' Glass Matte Studio for $99 plus tax. Or if you don't want that, pick $155 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. That shipping fee is waived. Again, I'd love to have you buy that starter kit through me or one of my Inkspired Stampers team members and become a part of our group, our awesome group of stamping friends. The last thing I want to make sure everybody knows is, <clears throat> and this is maybe, well, I guess it's possible, right? Either um, you put a huge order in or you get orders together from friends and family. If you put at least a $300 hoarder, order in during celebration, typically you get 12% in host rewards, which comes out to like $36 on a $300 order. They're throwing in another $30 worth of free product. So for a $300 order, you can get $66 worth of product. Plus you would get six free celebration items too. So what I would suggest is first of all, buy the starter kit 
this awesome join offer. Then go put your first Mac Daddy order in for $300. You get six free celebration items and $66 in host rewards. And you've already met that first quarterly $300 minimum with that order. And you get so much for free. So how about that for a great idea, right? Okay, again, lots of info. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to answer those questions for you. Okay, we are right. I'm rolling up my sleeves. We are getting serious now, ladies. Okay, another quick sip of water. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so first project. And again, don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, and share this video. Love and truly appreciate that. It helps me out with Facebook. I'm trying to get my rankings up so more people see our videos. So here, you guys, is our first project with that cute little love you more sentiment. Again, from the heartfelt hello stamp set, right? Then, okay, so this is a fun fold for sure. So this flips up. And the cool thing is you can see all of the designer series paper that I featured from that lighter than air designer series paper too. And then this flips open. So look at that. I showed three different patterns. There's one, two, three patterns of designer series paper. And then love this sentiment too. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. Let me show you guys. That is from... This is the Hope You Know stamp set out of our annual catalog. So another great thing to think about, right, is putting orders in. You might order a new mini catalog product, new um, spring mini catalog product, or maybe you've got your list of things that you still love from the annual catalog, and this would be one of them I would definitely put on my list. Um, great sentiments like this one right here that we used on this card, right? We've got, you are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. <laughs> yes, it is super springy, isn't it, Bonnie? I agree. Yes, that's what the colors are. They're springy. They're springy kind of pastel colors. Absolutely. Okay, other sentiments. We've got wishing you comfort. Just saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Hope you know how much your kindness is appreciated. Truly, deeply grateful. Miss you. Hello, friend. Thinking of you today. And I'm going to say, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and so on. And then last one, this is a great um, kind of for a sympathy card. May you find peace in the days to come and in the loving thoughts that surround you now. So great sentiments in here, right? But I use that fun sunshine brightens so many of my days on the inside of our card there. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and, oh, you know what else I want to show you guys? So this was a swap that I received from our last annual catalog that inspired me to make this card. But what I realized was she actually, I don't know if you guys can see this, and I I took it out of the sleeves. I always do that, and I don't know who to give credit for on this cute swap. But she actually used, this is a full sheet of, I'm going to call this boho blue, right? I think that's what it is. Um, so this is like a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and she kind of cut it here and here. So everything is attached. And when I tried to do that with my card, this piece right here wouldn't fold over very well. So I decided to actually make it two different pieces, but I don't think you can even tell. So we've got our traditional half a sheet of cardstock, and then I've got another separate piece, and I'll show you when we put it together, that I kind of stuck down here so that I could pop it up just a smidge so when you close this, this flips over it nicely. So I'll explain what I mean by that, but this, this I tried and it didn't work very well for me to have one piece of cardstock because it just wouldn't flip down very well for me. So you guys might have a trick for that. I don't know what it is, uh, but I found a workaround that I am happy with as well. Okay, <clears throat> so much cute stuff. Ooh, I almost dropped that on my new glass. Ooh, that that's probably not be, gonna be good to like fling, um, <laughs> fling punches around on your glass mat. I guess that would be the test, right? What happens when you do that, right, ladies? Okay, so what are we gonna start with? Let me show you measurements, first of all. So again, this we're gonna start with this piece right here. What kind of throws me is that I have this thing here in the way now. So I'm still trying to kind of figure out how I'm working with this. But here is our full sheet of uh, what is this, fresh freesia cardstock, right? So along the 11 inch side right here, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? This will, I think, help explain. This is the piece that, can you see a little score mark? So this piece 
measures six inches by three and one quarter inches, and then I scored it at five inches. Can you guys see that? I don't know if I'm up. Do I need to, what if I bring that down there? Can you guys see? I think maybe that works a little bit better, right? Again, so six inches by three and one quarter, and then I scored it at five inches. So that's gonna fold down like that. And when we put this together, this piece, we're gonna fold that in. This piece is gonna lay right on there, and I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of this, and then this is just gonna flip open and close like that, okay? Which, like I said, I thought that worked great. When you put the white paper over it, it kinda of helps hold this in place. You can't even tell that it's two separate pieces, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Let me show you. So here's our basic white cardstock. Need one sheet of that. I'm gonna scoot that up out of the way. It keeps getting in my way. Four inches by five and a quarter inches. Then we also have two pieces of our designer series paper. Such cute paper, right? These both also measure the four inches by five and a quarter inches. As always, all of the details, um, the products, the item codes, the measurements, the colors, everything that you need to order and recreate the projects that I'm doing today will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Then we also have these two pieces of designer series paper that measure three by four and three quarters, okay? So that's that beautiful balloon paper right there. What else? And I think I've got um, some pieces of cardstock, our basic white, our fresh freesia, and then these little pieces are for the little hearts that I put on the card as well. Okay, so I think, let's see. Um, la, 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 la. What all do we need? We yeah, so we've got a couple of those little punches. So do we have, maybe we don't have any die cutting to do. I think I used only punches. Nope, there's one die, this one right here. So we are going to, let's do that and get that done and out of the way right now. Okay, yeah, so let me show you. We are going to use, <clears throat> what are these dies called? These are the Something Fancy dies. I think these came out in our spring catalog last year and then carried over. So this die right here, that kind of medium-sized label die. Again, from the Something Fancy dies is what we're going to use for that little purple piece. I think it um, kind of layers very nicely right behind. This is that modern label punch, okay? All right, so let's do our die cutting. Let me grab my die cutting machine. I think we figured out that we were successful in doing the die cutting right on our Stampin' Glass mat last time. There we go. So we're going to just lay that right on there. Crank this baby through here. Okay, good. Hopefully, I don't think that was wiggling too much, which I appreciate. So cool label, huh? Right? It even has like a little bit of embossing kind of around the edge, if you can see that. I think that's cool too. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to just scoot these guys right out of the way. Some die cutting on the next one too, don't we? Okay, all right. So let's see. We are gonna do. Let's do our stamping. Where is my fresh freesia ink? I think it's probably on the other. Yep, we're using it on our other card too. So that is right here. So the beauty, as always, of stamping up our fresh freesia ink that matches with our fresh freesia cardstock that matches coordinates with the fresh freesia in that lighter than air designer series paper. Love, love, love that about Stampin' Up. So here's our fun, love you more. Such a cute little sentiment, right? We got that one there. And the little curly, it's just so cute, isn't it? Like the little curly cues, super duper duper cute. And then from, again, from the Hope You Know stamp set, we are going to use, always have to make sure I've got it right side up. So that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are gonna press straight down and lift straight up. And I did it. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if it was gonna be crooked or not. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. All right, let's get, and actually these two. Put that back in there for the next one. Okay, so I think we are going to clean these stamps real quick with our Simply Chamois. How's everybody doing? You guys are really quiet today. Um, does, has anybody ordered? Have you guys gotten any of these celebration things or any of the products that we're playing with? You have any cute ideas? 
of projects that you've made. Love for you to share those. Like I said, Trish shared a super cute card with, again, it was this sweet. I don't even know the name of it, but look at how cute it is. How much fun you could have making little um, ice cream cones like that, right? With that sweet. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I think, let's go ahead and start putting things together and I'll figure out what, well, here, we can do this one punch here, right? Hi, Mr. Mike, how are you? So I have to tell you guys, um, Mike helped me with my swaps the other day. I was rushing around trying to get um, everything done so I could get them in the mail because I had a deadline that I had to meet to get them sent out. And so I was like, hey, do you want to do a little, you want to do a little stamping with me? Um, and so he actually helped me. I put him on dimensional work. I kind of started him slow on that. And he was a huge helper and I truly appreciated it. Um, and so, yeah, I'll Maybe he'll want to help again sometime, which would be very fun. I truly appreciated the help. And because the big thing was, I was trying to make sure that we were done um, before the Michigan game started. And we did meet that goal. So, yes. So, thank you, Mike, for your help. And, Bonnie, yes, you put an order in in December. So, you probably got lots of free celebration stuff already, didn't you? Okay. So, what I'm trying to do is this little piece. You can see I added my adhesive. And I want to, I'm going to make sure before I press too firmly. See, this is what my problem was when this was one sheet of cardstock. This piece kept like kind of rumpling up this one. But yeah, that looks good. So now that I feel like I've got it even, I'm going to press firmly. And we're going to put that down right there. Then we are going to, oops, I already put adhesive on that. I was like chit-chatting, wasn't I? And not paying attention. So yeah, we can add our sentiment on the inside. What else? Let's keep this card in view. Let's do, since we're kind of working on the inside, let's keep working on that. Okay, so we're going to take this piece right here, and this is the one that we're going to, so I was kind of trying to decide, did I like that piece on the inside? But I kind of liked all these fun, the fun, bright patterns, so I went with this one. But you could go either way, right? But I love just how much of the Designer Series paper we're featuring. And then we've got these two pieces, so we're going to put one right here, and one right there. I think we're going to go with this one on the inside. And look at the stripes. Aren't these so cute? Love the stripes on that, you guys. I already ordered another pack of this paper because I realized how much I was going to use on these cards to send out to you to say thank you for your orders. So I have to make sure I have enough paper um, to make all these projects to get these um, sent out to you as thank yous for your online orders. So very excited about that, too. Okay. So I'll be all stocked up and ready to go. And these are so fun to make, right? So that's another fun thing about it too, is just, you know, when you get to work with cute stuff, it makes it more fun to play with too, right? And brightens your days on those gloomy, dreary winter days that we're in for for the next little while, but it doesn't even matter because you just hunker down in your craft room and play with your cute stuff. And don't even worry about what it's like outside. Okay, so we've got our little sentiment. Again, fits perfectly over this little label die right there. Okay, um, dimensionals. I did bring them. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals. So this was the work that Mike helped me with. He was such a trooper, so cute. <laughs> Loved his help. I truly appreciate it. Now I'm trying to decide where do I, which do, what do I want to cover up? Maybe I'll kind of put it right. It was so I just strategically, you know, trying to decide um, where, but I think I'm going to put it. It's like I can't quite decide. I kind of like those little bottoms showing there, too. Okay, we're going to put that one right there. So you could put it anywhere on your card, wherever you don't mind covering up something, right? Which I was struggling with on this one, right? Trying to decide where do I want to put it? So we've got this cute pack of Baker's Twine. This is the Baker's Twine three color pack. In, I'm going to say balmy blue, lemon lolly, and calypso coral. I'm thinking based on the colors, right? So in this lighter than air designer series paper, because this is all part of the same suite. Um, yeah, there's a balmy blue. Um, that's funny. Maybe it's petal or a flirty flamingo or petal pink. I guess I'm not sure because I'm not seeing 
Calypso Coral. We've got Azure Afternoon, Balmy Blue, Bubble Bath, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Fuchsia, Lemon Lolly is definitely that one, Pool Party. Oh, there is a Petal Pink. So I don't know, either Petal Pink or Flirty Flamingo, they're calling that one. But we're going to use this Balmy Blue right here. Going to make a little double bow. And it's funny, I have this note that says, go slow when you tie a bow so that people can really see. I always think everybody knows, right? Okay, so I wanna make a double though. So I'm just gonna loop that over and act like I'm working with one piece of twine, even though it's kind of looped together with two, okay? So we're gonna make our little bunny ear here. We're gonna flip this over. And the, probably the biggest trick is getting the two pieces of twine through that little hole. But I think it was pretty successful. That's a tiny bow, wow. Okay, I did it though. <laughs> So we're just going to go with it. We're going to keep a tiny little bow right there, which is okay. Um, probably could have used a little bit more. I'm actually shocked that um, that worked out <laughs> as well as it did, but okay, good. There we go. All right, let's grab a little mini glue dot. <clears throat> Such cute. Look at that twine. Oh my gosh. It's like ice cream sorbet colors or something, right? Makes me want ice cream. I guess the cover of that catalog makes me want ice cream too which you don't really think of ice cream in the winter right but okay so there's our little bow right next we are gonna punch some of these cute little heart punches i actually used these punches last week on facebook live too so that's that little bee builder punch right there's a little bee and then the couple of hearts too that also make the wings so we are going to, we need a balmy blue, a petal pink, and then what did I do on the inside? We have another balmy blue and then a bubble bath on the inside. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to do a couple of balmy blue hearts. So there's one and there's one. Oops, we get it out. There we go. Okay, all right. And then we're going to do a bubble bath heart. There we go. And then a petal pink heart right there okay all right now we need where is my is that still here yes especially on this glass because I'm already like oh I got some adhesive on there I'm gonna have to work actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick that right on there to remind me to clean that off later I need to get my little adhesive remover so we instead this time are going to work right here on our little um, what is this called? A little silicone mat so that we don't get adhesive on places that we don't want it. It works so well. Okay. Oops. And that one stuck to my finger, which is okay. All right. So we're going to do, we have our bubble bath heart and our little balmy blue heart right there. I'm going to flip that down. And then on this one, then we've got another little balmy blue heart. So you can see it just adds a little bit of fun to our card. Then one last thing. We are actually going to use, these are from a different suite, but I thought the color was perfect because this is petal pink and then I think that's pretty peacock. These are called, yeah, the petal pink and pretty peacock foil gems. How about that? So that's helpful, right? The name is right in, or the colors are right in the name. Okay, so we're going to grab one of these little guys. So I'm using my take your pick tool kind of forgot about it. And so I was going through stuff. Oops. And I found it. And I'm like, I need, oh, you know what? So can you guys see? Okay. Maybe, maybe I want to use this take your pick tool, but that little glue dot actually there, I think it's on there. So that flipped over. Now I don't have any adhesive on it, but I think I got the glue dot back down. Okay. And did I? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, I thought, okay, well, oh, there it is. Okay, so let's see if I can, if I do that, will it come off? Hmm, well, this is not working so well, is it? Okay, <laughs> so I was gonna show you how great the take your pick tool is, but I, apparently I can't use it. Okay, there's the glue dot now, all right. So that's not working, we're gonna just put that there. We'll fix, actually, maybe I can. Okay, let's see, are we gonna be able to? Trying to get it off the take your pick tool. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. 
I'm going to show you guys again how great that take your pick tool is on the next project. And that's going to work really, really, really well. I don't know. I didn't dig quite right somehow, but <laughs> we're good to go now. So here, love you more. So cute, right? See all the fun designer series paper. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. Who would not love to get that cute, flippy, fun fold card with those great sentiments, right? So think of someone that would appreciate that card and make it and send it to them. All right. I think we got everything done, right? I'm look, looking around trying to figure out if I'm all good here, but I think so. <coughs> Sorry, I might have just <coughs> moved that, uh, the mount. Mm. Okay, need that sip of water again, too. Okay, okay, okay. So next project, let me show you guys what we're working with now. Actually, I'm going to put that one right there. So another fun fold card for you. And this is featuring again <clears throat> from the Heartfelt Hello stamp set. So there's that cute little hello. And I'm going to show you where I found those fun little flowers from too. These are the deckled circles dies that were in our holiday mini catalog but have carried over. So you can still order those if you have not gotten those yet. And then I use this sentiment, this enjoy your day, again, from that Heartfelt Hellos. And then isn't this cute, right? So it's another little kind of flippy fun fold so you can write your sentiment or, you know, your greeting right on here as well below where we stamped your sentiment. But just another great way to show love that stripey designer series paper. Okay, so let me show you how we're going to make this card. All right, we scoot that right there, put that one there. Oh, I have to share with you guys, this was... The layout was cased from this was a card that we made. Um, my Inkspired Stampers team member, members all made these cards last fall, I'm going to say, because this was from that designer series paper. What is that even called? I'm totally drawing a blank. Um, but we used this designer series paper. Do I still have it? No, I'm curious, because I think it is still available. Yeah, so here's my <laughs> here's my pack of paper after I probably prepped for the meeting make and takes. The one horse open sleigh designer series paper was what we used on those projects. So if you're still kind of in Christmas and looking for ideas, this is a super cute idea. I just wanted to use it for the card layout. Um, and then also to mention to you guys that we do make and takes for our team meetings every single month. So even if you're long distance, you can get the meeting make and takes mailed to you. If you decide to buy that starter kit, you can still participate in making cute cards with us at our team meeting, even if you're long distance, because I'll mail them right to you. So that was an example of one that we made. And then of course, I wanted to use that layout on this card as well. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see, we're gonna put our ink there we're going to use the cute little dots too on can you see i used those little dots right on the inside there of the flower and those also so we'll be playing with those in just a little bit too okay um let's see we're going to just put our it's kind of be like a little work surface for me there too the other thing i want to show you guys before i forget is this is the three color ribbon combo pack coming in Bubble Bath, Azure Afternoon, and Lemon Lolly. I have a couple pieces left of this Bubble Bath from other projects, so we're going to use that guy right there, but you can see it's funny. It looks brighter pink on there, but we're going to use that little strip that I have left over from, I can't even tell you what, for our project today. Okay, so let's see, where did that ribbon go? Oh, it's still right here. <laughs> That's why it's not in my hand because it's not in my hand. All right. Let me tell you guys, we got lots of little pieces here, but let's start with, those are kind of the extra pieces that you need just to make things. Okay, so this one is actually, if you can envision an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So we actually, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. So there's this other strip, this like three by 11 inch strip. You're just gonna get rid of that, use that for something else. So you end up with your card base that measures five and a half by 11 inches. And you're gonna score it at four and one quarter and five and a half and six and three quarters, okay? So this card, there's your card front, right? We're gonna flip this. And this, so it's, I don't know, is it like a little bit of a book binding kind of thing? Maybe not. But then that, we're going to adhere this together on the inside. 
so that'll hold and then this just kind of flips back and forth okay so there's your card base <clears throat> We have two pieces of designer series paper. Again, this lighter than air designer series paper that's so cute. So that was the other thing. I used this balloon paper a million times because I used the stripes on this card and then I used a bunch of balloons on the other cards too. So I knew I had to order another pack, which I'm sure I will not have a problem using and playing with many, many times over. You'll probably be tired of seeing all the cute projects. <laughs> well, maybe not, I don't know. It'll give you lots of ideas. Things that you can use. I'm just jumping right in here. Probably didn't need to quite do this yet, but here we go. Since I've already started, we're going to put these. Did I mention these pieces of designer series paper both measure four by five and a quarter? So we're going to just do these while I got sidetracked, chit chatting, but that's okay. We will also, let's just do this. We'll put our inside designer series paper. This measures one by five and a quarter. And you can see I tried to be really strategic and cut it. Did I do it? It's upside down. So I think I think we're going to be okay so that the stripes all line up. So my mom was a quilter, and I always remember her kind of talking about that, you know, that she wanted to um, try to get the patterns lined up. So I tried to do that in my paper crafting as well. Okay, so let's just add these in, and then we'll kind of keep going with our stamping and die cutting. Oh, and this is where I'm doing that again. I need my, so my little silicone mat, I really have to start working with that more because I don't want to get adhesive all over this glass mat. <coughs> okay, we'll bring that back and we're going to need that in a little bit too. Okay, so we're going to add this one right here. Okay, and then flip this over and let's add, make sure the stripes all line up. Yay, look at that. Superstar, huh? Okay, and then we're also going to, we'll kind of finish this off. Let's add our adhesive inside. Do you guys know, like my thing kind of comes apart. So when I flip it down, I'm kind of trying to like put it back together. I don't know if that happens to you guys or not, but I found that that's kind of an easy way to do it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna adhere that right now. There we go. Yeah, isn't this so cute? So fun, right? Okay, let's do some stamping and die cutting now, right? Okay. Oh, also, this basic white piece measures three inches by four and one quarter. I feel like I always want to take that off. I should have just done that before. It's funny because I don't think it really, maybe it was like in shipping um, because it's still got, I was thinking it would make it lopsided if I took that little corner piece off. Can you guys see? Can you guys even see? It's funny how I feel like it blends right in with everything. Um, anyway, but there's also like some little um, silicone rubber thingies holding it up too. So yeah, three by four and one quarter, if I didn't say that or say it correctly <laughs> before. But yeah, we're gonna, I'm just gonna have to pull that off because it's driving me crazy that this little thing is like in the corner here and then you can't, um, I can't see the edges very well of like, you know, the numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot that up here. Actually, we're gonna use this, right? So we're gonna use our Fresh Freesia ink first and we're gonna stamp our Enjoy Your Day in fresh freesia ink. So this is great because then it's really not even moving. Love that to kind of hold my ink pad in place. There we go. Enjoy your day. And then on the inside or outside, we have this little hello. We're going to stamp that in balmy blue on just kind of a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. Okay. So again, our balmy blue ink. I'm going to put that right on there. Roll my bright yellow sleeves up. I knew you guys would love my sweatshirt, right? Ooh, hello. Enjoy your day. So very cute, right? Okay, so we are going to, what are we doing with this? Oops, that's not the one I want to look at. This one is right here. Okay, so we're going to get our deckled circles out. I'll show you. Uh, what am I doing? Actually, let's clean these stamps off first, okay? So we don't get ink on anything we don't want it on. All right, you guys doing okay? Quiet. I, might, I hope I'm not putting you guys to sleep, right? <laughs> You're just so fascinated by the stamping process, aren't you? Okay, so here, let's get our die cutting machine. We've got this baby right here. Okay, so I will show you. We have our basic white and our azure afternoon with 
our deckled circle dies, okay? So just in case you need the number, it's 162286. If you haven't ordered these yet, awesome. How many dies are in here? I always forget. 14 circles. Can you guys see that? It really does. Say, it says 14 circles in here. Okay, so we're going to use the one, two, three, the fourth and fifth smallest circle dies. Look at that, 14 circle dies in there. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of circles. Okay, so we're going to put that one there, and we're going to put that one there, and then we are going to, let me show you guys where these are from. Okay, so we've got little scraps. Can you guys see? We have Balmy Blue, Fresh Freesia, Bubble Bath, and Lemon Lolly just little bits of cardstock. And we are using my brand new Lovely and Sweet dies. I'm gonna pull these out. Just wanted to show you guys, because they have all these. I wanted to add another little something onto, you know, I when I did the little hello sentiment, I'm like, oh, it needs something else. Those are like stuck on there. I actually pulled these off and apparently stuck them back on so well. So it's these little teeny tiny flower dies again from oopsie flipping that over the lovely and sweet dies so i'm going to show you those in the catalog too so we're going to just flip these down so we get these little babies on each of them and so where are the lovely and sweet dies actually they're part of am i going to be able to find them easily uh, which way all right we're going to just we're going to do what i should have done in the first place we're going to look in the index in the back of the catalog for, let's see, lovely and sweet dies on page 42. So we're going to flip, I'm trying to keep my other page open. Sorry, is this kind of crazy? Okay, so here, part of this beautiful sweet though. Okay, so can you see those are the lovely and sweet dies in the bundle? which also features the stamp set. So you can see all these other images that are kind of whited out, including that cool label right there. Those are all the dyes that come in there. And then can you see those little baby flowers? And actually they used them on that card right there too. Uh, so that's what we're gonna play with, are those little baby flowers on this card today. I just needed a little something. Um, okay, so as long as there we go, everything is on the paper. All right, we are ready to do our die cutting. Okay, let's see here. So we have our circle, right? We've got our azure afternoon deckled circle and then our hello deckled circle. Then let's see if these, oh yeah, okay. Are they all gonna come out nice and easy for me? Oh, those are stuck in there. That's all right though. I'll grab my paper piercing tool. So two of them got stuck and two of them <laughs> are, okay, then it's just a matter of pulling them off this mat <laughs> that's been very well loved, but it's super flat, so I never wanna get rid of it. <laughs> you know how they always warp? I keep one on the bottom and somehow it never warps. So it's very well used and loved. Um, but let's see if we can, we're going to take these and these. I'm trying to, these little baby dies, I'm always afraid I'm going to lose them. So i got to be good about, let's see. Hey, let's use your take your pick tool. And where is my silicone mat? That's what I need next. We're going to just put those. Can you guys, you can't even see that's like off camera, isn't it? But I'll bring that back in in a sec. Ooh, it's like I'm flipping pancakes. <laughs> Okay, I really like pancakes too, you guys. So that's like making me happy just thinking about flipping pancakes. I remember this too, when we first were playing with this little take your pick tool, I felt like it was like a spatula for your Barbie doll, right? Like if you're playing Barbies, this is a size spatula that Barbie would use. <laughs> Which you know popular Barbie is right now, right? Have not seen the movie yet. Has anybody seen the movie? I do kind of want to see it. Lily didn't like it at all. My daughter did not, but I've talked to other people that did like it. I think she just couldn't find the meaning in that maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my paper piercing tool and we're gonna pop these little babies out. Okay, use that one there, that one there. Okay, so as long as they all landed on. So the other thing though, I don't know if you guys can see, 
So one side has those teeny tiny little rivet divots in it. So that's the top. So we want to put adhesive on the back. So I just need to make sure that they're all flipped over. I think they are now. Okay. Those little babies away. All right, we're going to just keep that right there. I think we're we're doing all right. So let's put our adhesive. So we're going to finish the inside of our card. We just want to put adhesive on the back of that side right there. Okay, so we're going to just add this along here. Okay, we're going to bring our card back in. And I'm going to just kind of lay it down lightly because I want to make sure it's lined up. They like where my stripes are, that it's straight. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to go to the outside of our card. We're gonna put our little hello together, okay? <clears throat> then also, okay, we've got, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add some adhesive for our ribbon. Just kind of keep pressing that. Eventually it will stay down, right? Okay, so I just love to kind of loop, loop and flip and tack is the technique we're using for this, right? Um, let's get some dimensionals. We're going to pop a couple of dimensionals on the back here, and we'll trim that ribbon in just a sec, okay? So we're going to just peel these dimensionals off. We're going to put that. Actually, I want to give a little bit more of a loop there. So we're going to put that right there. Get rid of that little dimensional backing. Okay, my scissors. We are going to kind of just trim that. And this one... Gonna just trim that there, okay? All right, then we have our last little bits. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna do a big pink one. So that's bubble bath, I'm gonna say pink. And then we'll do a little fresh freesia. Okay, so we've got a bubble bath and a fresh freesia <coughs> on the outside. <coughs> One more sip of water. I'm going to try to make it through. Okay, then we're going to use a balmy blue. I'm going to flip that one over. So we're going to put a little balmy blue. You guys can just barely see that, right? We can put a little balmy blue flower and a little lemon lolly flower. And then we'll save those four for the next card. We'll kind of do opposites there. So I'm going to just pop those right in my little tub. Then last... We have those super cute, the little rainbow adhesive back dots. They are like a beautiful rainbow of colors, aren't they, right? Okay, so we are going to, we're going to try this again, ladies. <coughs> Use the Barbie spatula. <coughs> Excuse me, or take your pick. <coughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> I can do it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to grab a mint. <coughs> Just to be safe because <coughs> apparently my throat is not going to let me talk any longer without giving it trouble. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use, this is a little petal pink. And if this doesn't work, I'm going back to my snips because I know those always work. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to use this little baby. I'm going to say this is flirty flamingo. So there's a little flirty flamingo. Look at how cute those are, you guys. Enjoy your day. And then we're going to add a couple more to this one. Okay, we're going to do, and I'm using the littler one. So we're going to use a lemon lolly on the fresh freesia. And then I'm going to use a balmy blue on what is this one? The bubble bath. And you can see, so, oops, I'll scoot that over just a little bit. The um, bubble bath ribbon kind of matches with that teeny tiny little flower right there. And then the bubble bath dots. And then same thing with the fresh freesia and the fresh freesia dots. So how cute is that, right? We've got the little fun little enjoy your day. Okay, ladies. So I hope you enjoyed these projects. I forgot to show you guys the host code, but we will flip this right here. Get this into view. So remember, you get one of each of these projects with your online order using this host code, the HTWVGQR9. Again, both of these projects, you'll get one of each of these for free as a thank you from me. 
You also get your name in the drawing to win this painted lavender stamp set. Such a beautiful stamp set. And then you also get to pick from the free embellishment for the month of January, which are these purple fine shimmer gems or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial featuring this cute Valentine's Day card. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will be back again two weeks from today on January 19th, Friday, January 19th. Um, hope you guys have a great couple of weeks, a great January. Happy New Year and go blue. Hopefully you guys all root, root for the maize and blue on Monday night in the national championship game. All right. Bye everybody. Thank you.